Welcome back to Sword Box. We started talking yesterday about the Word of God, and I started giving you some descriptions straight out of God's Word about what the Word of God is, what it means. Our verse for today is from John 1, 1, and it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Holy Bible is more than just a 66 books put together with some opinions of men. It is the literal Word of God, as we talked about yesterday. It's God breathed. God, through His Holy Spirit, spoke to men who penned what God wanted them to say. And you say, well, that's impossible. God created the whole world we're in. It's not impossible for God to make a book for us to read. I want to continue giving you some descriptions of God's Word. You don't have to try to remember all these, but if just maybe one of these uh, tugs at your heart or, or opens your eyes a little bit about God's Word, then it's certainly worthwhile. I'm not going to list all the passages where they're from, but these are all straight from God's Word. Uh, God's Word burns in our heart like a fire. God's Word should be heard. God's Word is like a hammer that breaks rocks in pieces. God's Word should be received with joy. God's Word is powerful. God's Word brings blessings. God's Word was from the beginning. God's Word was with God. And God's Word was God. God's Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. God's Word brings the good news of salvation that we all need. God's Word cleanses us. It's truth. God's Word builds us up. It brings faith. It is the literal Word of God, and it is not bound. God's Word is manifested through preaching, and God's Word is faithful. And if you could just maybe pick out a couple of those things and maybe focus on them for a few minutes. You know, for me, uh, when I think about God's Word being truth, that's so important to me because there's so many lies in our culture today and in our in our media and in politics and even in our schools unfortunately you know they're not necessarily proclaiming the truth uh, our culture seems to change so quickly and uh, we get so far off course of what the real truth is and God's Word is an anchor that we all need to continue to follow God and we can't just go off on our own and f try to figure it out ourselves we need God's Word to show us what truth is so I hope you remember that you know God's Word has always been with him and Jesus is the living word. God bless you. We'll see you back here tomorrow.